Welcome to Doc Valentino. I do tech tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and video games. Today I have the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. Now this camera just released in October of 2020. All my videos up to this point have been recorded on an iPhone. All of my streaming is done on an iPhone or a regular old webcam. Uh, so it's time for an upgrade for me. Figured I'd unbox it. We'll see what's in there. I'm not an extremely knowledgeable camera guy, so I'm kind of learning as I go as far as it goes with these things. But I did a little bit of research to seem like a really good camera. For good quality, it is a mirrorless camera. I bought a dummy battery for it. And what that is, is it's a fake battery that goes into the camera and then that gets plugged into an AC outlet so that you can power the camera continuously and run it as a webcam. So I intend on using that in my streams. Now this is an upgrade from the M50 that was released a few years back. This is also the first video that I'm doing with my lavalier mic. So I'll actually be doing some microphone comparisons in the future as well. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that little notifications bell so you know when I upload new videos. So let's go ahead and open this guy. All right, first thing you see here on top, looks like an instruction booklet. It does have, I think, five languages here. It looks like uh, Japanese or Chinese on the top and the bottom. And then we have English, French, and Spanish here in the middle. Uh, it does go in that order in the book. So it's a fairly thick book, but that is five different languages. Okay, and then this is the camera body itself. Got a little bit of weight to it. Feels like a nice camera. It's got a very nice look to it. Okay, right here we have the, uh, the screen that flips open. Now this is an articulating screen, so it does turn like this as well. Uh, as you can see, that way if you're doing a uh, a YouTube video or vlogging or something like that, you can have the screen facing you uh, while you're while you're looking into the camera. So that's really nice. This is a mirrorless viewfinder. So whenever you're looking into that, that's a picture that's being generated from the camera, not a direct reflected image through the lens. Okay, so very nice. Uh, and then you have a, a power cord here. You have the lens, uh, which this is a uh, What's it say? A 15 millimeter to, to 45 millimeter lens. Okay. So you have that that came, came with it. Uh, battery. We won't open that up. Uh, you have a lanyard here uh, to, to let it hang around your neck. Uh, and then this looks like the other portion of the charger. So you would just plug this into this, stick the battery in there. Uh, and it would charge the battery up that way. I did not buy an extra battery for this. I was reading that you get about 300 pictures worth. I'm not sure what you get as far as video length goes if you're out on the go. But if you're doing stuff at home and you're recording yourself at home, uh, you can buy one of those dummy battery kits as well. Okay, so I'll go ahead and lay out all the components here. You have the camera itself. You have the lens. You have the charger and battery. Uh, the wire for the charger. You have the booklet and then you have the lanyard. And that is what comes in the box with the camera. What's funny is not only is that an iPhone, that's an iPhone 11. We have an iPhone 7 Plus up here connected to a boom arm on a tripod that's doing the overhead footage. So I use two instances of IV cam to do that. Uh, and I record it straight into OBS on the computer. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take some pictures, I'll take some video, uh, and I'll display that footage here after this part of the video. And that's what you're looking at now. I am recording it through OBS using an Elgato cam link with the camera connected to HDMI. And this is how I've been doing it for my streams as well. Now, I did mess around with the camera a little bit. It looks like it can do 1080p at 50 frames per second or 25 frames per second. And it can also do the same for 720p. And it does have the ability to record in 4K as well, but that only goes up to 25 frames per second. It does have a high frame rate mode. Uh, which goes up to 100 frames per second, and that's only at 720p. Also, what's really nice about this is if you're using it for streaming or recording through OBS, it does have a clean output feature through the HDMI cable, but features on the camera are limited whenever it's in that mode. Then we can test out the autofocus right here, and I'll just put my hand up. Let it focus on my hand. I'll pull it away and let it focus back on me. It does take 
It does take a second. It's not super fast, uh, but it does focus well. I'm not an expert photographer. Maybe I'll get there one day, but I did take some pictures in auto mode. And then I tried some other built-in features like uh, vivid, cool, warm. Uh, I think they had like a, a paint mode and they had, which makes it look like a watercolor. And then they also have one that is supposed to make it look like things are miniature or something, but uh, I don't know. I think they still look like the normal size. So curious what you guys think. So overall so far, I'm super satisfied with it. I think for $50 more than the Mark One, it's probably worth going with this one if you don't already have uh, a camera, but I don't know that it'd be worth upgrading from the Mark One to the Mark II. Uh, I don't have a Mark One, so I can't really tell you that, but I think a lot of the technology that's in this thing uh, is very similar to, to what you have in the Mark One. You do get some added features. You get that clean HDMI output and stuff like that as well, which from what I read, doesn't seem like the Mark One can do that. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Doc Valentino. I do tech tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and video games. If you can see back behind me here, I have a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. I also have a new blue microphone and a Go XLR. I'm gonna be doing unboxings on those. I actually recorded them already, and I'll be releasing those over the next month, month and a half, as I get everything put together and edited. But I do target to get out one video per week. Also, I stream over on Twitch and I keep my schedule updated. So go check me out over there, Doc Valentino, and I'll see you there, or I'll see you in next week's video. Oh, really? No, they're down oh, here. Hey. Just killed one. I'm going to the All right, coming. He said. He said, what the f gun does he have?